Just days after that cargo ship crashed into a bridge in Baltimore, the Coast Guard says another cargo ship lost some of its control this past weekend near the Verrazano Bridge. Tonight, maritime experts tell CBS2 investigator Masa Saidi these incidents are not uncommon. In the wake of the key bridge collapse in Baltimore, incidents in the water in the spotlight. Friday night near the Verrazano Bridge, a massive container ship lost propulsion. Three towing vessels nearby helping to anchor the ship just north of the bridge. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, unlike the Baltimore incident, this vessel did not lose power. Lawrence Brennan is a retired U.S. Navy captain from Staten Island, and he says he knows these waters well. Rapid and successful response by the ship's crew and the pilot on board, and the assisting tugs came up a mile or two from stern where they had left the ship when they were beamed the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. Vessels can lose steering, propulsion, or power. Brennan says a loss of propulsion is not uncommon. In the New York Harbor, Brennan says layers of protection. Tugs assist ships to and from the pier, helping them navigate in confined waters. Brennan also points to the Vessel Traffic Service, or VTS system, in New York. Think of it like air traffic control for the water. The New York VTS system is probably one of the, the more complicated and larger ones. Baltimore is a different size, different type of harbor, and it doesn't seem to have quite as, and I don't want to say good, but as sophisticated a system as we have in New York. And our national investigative team looked into bridge safety nationwide, and they found more than 4,000 bridges allow ships to go under them. Now, of that, about one in three have so-called functional peer protection. What's that? Well, it's unclear exactly what that protection is. And Maurice, Jessica, it's also unclear what kind of hit these bridges can take even mm. with that protection. Yeah, important insight. Masa, thanks so much. And stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the rebuilding efforts in Baltimore and the impact the collapse is having here in the tri-state area. We'll bring you updates here on the air and, of course, streaming on CBS News New York.